Hello and welcome back to Digital Assets Daily. Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, wherever you are in your corner of the world. Hit that like and subscribe as we dive right into the news of today. Really quick, XRP is not a security. <laughs> Just thought I'd get that out of the way really quick. So Ripple Labs, the district court holds that direct digital token sales constituted investment contracts under Howey but other transactions did not. So the case presented the question whether Ripple Lab Inc.'s offers and sales of XRP tokens constitute securities transactions subject to registration requirements under the SEC Act of 1933, the Securities Act. At the outset, the court emphasized XRP as a digital token is not in and of itself a contract transaction. End of story. In about time, let's get moving. Oh man, it's been on pause since uh, you may know as well as I do. Uh, I believe it was December 22nd, 2020. So that was the pause and delay at that point. Next up, XRP crypto analyst Thomas Crello justifies his $8 to $10 medium to long term price target. Really, no need to go into the article. All we need to know is $8 to $10. That's a good start. I believe it will be significantly higher, especially since, oh man, let's see, today's the 18th, da, 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 two more days, they're going to start with 57 institutions, including JP Morgan and many others, and then they have to quickly get up to 10,000. I believe we should, man, of course I'm very bullish, but I don't see how 10,000 institutions doesn't send um, XRP to uh, triple digits for sure. I would be very disappointed if this year did not produce that just from everything it's designed to do and we know the volume it's getting ready to do. XRP is getting listed on one of the world's most prestigious crypto exchanges and if you're one of the OGs and been here for a while this is a big deal. LCX, the Liechtenstein crypto assets exchange the very beginning there was a big deal to go to Liechtenstein and drive Lambos once we moon so in Liechtenstein this fintech company that has been contributing to capital markets since 2018 with five years of innovation LCX has significantly influenced the digital asset industry by delivering a robust blockchain infrastructure characterized by exceptional security efficiency and transparency. The company has secured nine regulatory registrations in accordance with the blockchain laws by the Financial Market Authority of Liechtenstein. So LCX is a member of the World Economic Forum, C4R, and has been recognized as a blockchain pioneer by the Blockchain Research Institute. So, on 17th of July, 2023, LCX announced that it's preparing to list the XRP token. This event is scheduled to take place on July 20th, 2023, when FedNow goes live at 3 p.m. Central European Time, CET. From this date, LCX will support the XRP token, expanding its offerings. And many people are trying to think really quickly of July 20th, 2023 at 3 p.m. CET. Basically, if you're in the USA, that relates to 10 a.m. Uh, Eastern Standard Time. Next and not last but not least, Franklin Templeton and Wisdom Tree Trust Stellar. $300 million USD plus in digital funds tokenized. Stellar Lumens XLM experienced a remarkable 50% surge in price following Ripple's victory in the SEC versus Ripple lawsuit. And Stellar's growth can be partly attributed to its recognition as a potential facilitator for the blockchain component of the FedNow payment system. And again, this is going live in two days. It's going to be very exciting. Us too. If you do have um, the Volta wallet holding your XR Paynet, you'll probably notice when you go to log into your wallet that's going to ask for an update. But there is an update um, with a, a lot of significant upgrades and, and updates for your wallet. And again, before we go, I always want to leave you with a final thought. 
It doesn't really matter who you used to be. What matters is who you've become. Remember, guys, this is not financial advice. It's for entertainment purposes only. Much love, and we will catch you in the next one.